A Storyline user in the eLearning Heroes forums today was asking for some help with creating a simple calculation exercise like this one. She wanted the learner to enter three values, like we see here, for rent, car, and phone, and then give them a way to calculate the total on the screen. And it's really easy and fun to do this in Storyline. Here's how you can do it. First thing is we want to enter or insert some data entry fields for each of these three items, rent, car, and phone, right? So on the Insert tab, I'm going to choose Data Entry and then Numeric Entry. We're going to draw a numeric entry field for rent, and then I'm going to hold down my shift and control keys and just drag to create a duplicate for car and then another one for phone. And over here in the trigger panel, you'll see Storylines created these triggers for me to keep track of the values that the learner enters. It uses variables to do that, um, and that's what the triggers are doing. They're setting the value of the variables. If we click on this X in the lower right, we're going to see those variables. And what I like to do is rename these. I don't like to use the default names because they're a little hard to keep track of. So this first one was for rent. I'm just going to rename that. And then this one was for car. And then the third one was for phone. So that just makes it a little easier to know what we're working with. Now, before we close this, I do want to add one more variable of my own to keep track of the tally. So to do that, I'm going to click create a new variable. I'm going to call it tally. The type is going to be another numeric variable, and an initial value of 0 is fine. So we'll go ahead and click OK and click OK again. So now we've got a way to collect that information. Now let's talk about how we can calculate. Well, on the Calculate button, we need to create a few triggers. So over here in the Trigger panel, we're going to create a trigger for each operation. So first, the trigger that we create um, initially, where we want to adjust the variable called Tally by adding the value of the variable called rent. That was our first one, okay? And then we want that to happen when the user clicks the button. So that's good, looks good. And we're going to copy and paste that. And now we're going to add, we're going to adjust this second variable so that it actually adds the next value here, the one for car. So this time we're adjusting the variable called tally by adding the value of the variable called car when the user clicks the button. And then we do a third one, copy, paste, and then we're going to modify. And this one we're going to add the value of phone and then click OK. So that's all we need to do for the calculation. As far as displaying the value, what we can do is put our cursor in a text box like we've got here. This is where we want the total to display. And then up on the Insert tab, I'm going to choose Reference. And this is going to list all of the variables in my project. And I can select the one I want to display the value for, which in this case is Tally and hit OK, and that's going to give me a little placeholder here that's going to show the value when we preview or publish. So let's take a look and see how this is going to behave for us. So let's just enter some simple values, 2, whoops, 2, 3, and 1. So this should be a value of 6 once we hit Calculate, and it is. The only thing is there's one little issue that could happen. If the learner decides that they want to enter a different value for any of these, like let's say maybe they entered the wrong number um, for the phone total, what they might want to do is go back and change it. Let's say they decide that it's actually 4 and not 1. Well, now the total should be, let's see, 4, 7, 9. But if they hit Calculate, it's going to display the wrong amount because it's actually showing a cumulative value. So what you can do is on the Calculate button, what we're going to do is come back to our Trigger panel and when the learner hits Calculate, we want it to first zero out that Tally variable before it adds these numbers together. That way we don't have that problem with the cumulative number appearing. So let's create one more trigger. I'm going to click Create a Trigger. We're going to say Adjust the variable called Tally. And this time we're going to give it an assigned value of 0 when the user clicks the button. And we'll hit OK. And then one more really important thing is right now that trigger is set to happen at the end of the list of triggers for that button. And that's not good. We want it to actually happen at the beginning. So with that trigger selected, I'm going to hit my up arrow so that it happens first before those other items are added. So now let's see how this is going to work. So again, we'll use 2, 3, and 1. We'll calculate and we get the correct value of 6. But now let's go back and say we want to change this to 4. Now our value should be 9 if we recalculate, right? So we hit recalculate and we get the correct value. So that's a real simple way that you can create an exercise where Storyline will calculate the sum of the learner's, um, the values that the learner enters for you.